Two highlights of uh, last Monday night's game between North Star and Eastern Suburbs at, T at T Perry Park. A good crowd, as we said, come out for this game, and uh, they were certainly entertained to a game that went into extra time. And Eastern Suburbs, I thought, were about the most disciplined I've seen them for quite a considerable period of time, and they went into the lead quite early in the lead. McDonough knocked the ball out wide, and Bruce Ro Raybock just carries it on here. Corbett, Wayne Corbett gets up, has a look across. I certainly think the goalkeeper should have been out a little bit quicker than he was. He wasn't. In goes Jim McDonough, says thanks very much, and uh, they go. Here we go again. The fullback just gets there a little bit too late as it comes across. Goalkeeper's not out far enough, and McDonough comes in the blind side, and Eastern Suburbs went in. They held that position actually right up until half, just after half time. Bruce Raybock. A uh, very dangerous player, actually, Bruce, and uh, I think if he's a little bit more composed, he'd be a far better player than he is at the moment. No star were a little bit out of sorts for a while, and they didn't seem to get them grip, they get to grips. And uh, after an injury to one of their players, uh, Paul Fagan came on the field, and uh, an angrier North star got to grips with himself and started pushing the ball around. As uh, we see Stevie Rowell coming here. Uh, Nice little knock across. Goalkeeper stands up and just patches it. And they're a very well controlled header by Fagan. And that's the equaliser. If it goes, a nice chip there by Raul. Goalkeeper comes out. He's out too early, actually. And uh, it just pops up. Paul Fagan says, thanks very much. And that's the equaliser. But Eastern Suburbs didn't wait for too long and Jimmy McDonough again comes up with defensive laps again, hits the ball out there, 18 metres out and uh, no Lord didn't have a chance at all. You see Billy Williamson getting pushed out of, the, of there by Corbett, leaves a big space there for McDonough and he doesn't miss many from that angle and, or from that range and that put East into 2-1. I thought then that maybe they could have gone on with it but they got a little bit more con confident, more confident than they should have been and they were certainly punished by it. Up it goes there, Paul Fagan hits the bar, up it comes, hits Alan Marley, and that is the equaliser. And it goes again, Paul Fagan again involved in that there, he caused a little bit of problem out there, wide out front, and that might be a tip for today. A good goal coming here. Stevie Rowe drives it across, wasn't cleared, Alan Marley just touches it back to Phil Mulvey, and Mark Davis had absolutely no chance. And that was in extra time, and uh, everybody was saying that the team that gets the first goal in extra time is the team that's going to win the match, and this was the case. In the second half of extra time, it was put beyond all doubt with a nice goal here by Jared Austin. Up he goes, clips it in, goalkeeper had no move. No chance for that whatsoever. There he goes, the defence just lay off him for a while, and then Jared just said thanks very much and chips it in off the bar. That was the end result. The final score was North Star 4, Eastern Suburbs 2. One thing, as I have seen North Eastern Suburbs quite a considerable time this year, on a number of occasions, I should say, and one thing disturbed me a little bit more than anything is the fact that they seem to be paying an awful lot of attention to the dugout. Every time they're winning, the dugout seems to be shouting and shouting instructions. And the boys' concentration is being lost by them concentrating on what's happening at the dugout. I think once these players go onto the field, they should know exactly what they have to do, and they don't have to be told like little under eights. And I think Nice and Suburbs would be a far better team if they knew what they had to do before they went on the park and went out and did it. One of the players in the North Star side, who I believe is having a real good season after a patchy start, is Mike Mulvey. One of those talented players in Brisbane soccer at this moment, has a delicate tip, a lovely ball can draw, and this guy has a big future in soccer if, uh, if he was allowed to. Mike, I had a talk with on Friday night. Michael, a very hectic game on Monday night against Eastern Suburbs. Do you feel that uh, maybe your superior fitness was, a, was the, the one that won you the game? Oh, I think so, Bob. Um, got Jim Cameron here, and as, as you probably know, he's a bit of a fitness fanatic. We've had a few grueling sessions during the season. I'm sure it stood us in good stead, yeah. Actually, um, you must admit that in the last couple of games, you're coming from behind. Uh, that must be a little bit of a problem. You, you wouldn't prefer to come from behind on Sunday, will you? No, we'll be able to score the first goal, hopefully. But um, the fact that we can come, behi come from behind um, is, is not going to cause a problem, you know. If we do go one down, we're not going to panic. Game goes for 90 minutes, so we'll be out there fighting for the full 90 minutes. Obviously, we won't want to concede any goals, but we'll be, we'll be out there scoring, hopefully. Well, uh, Brisbane City, of course, having been defeated for the first time in 15 games, they know the situation now because you had a similar situation mm. going 17 games. How hard is it to come back to a winning 
position after so long without defeat? Well, we found that uh, we were more determined to get out there and prove that our defeat was uh, against the run of play. You know, we wanted, and we, we did. We actually went out there the week after and we won. City will be out there trying to do the same, but it's, um, it's a cup, cup tie kind of game, so the league's forgotten now. But in a new series, you know. Well, so it's a knockout situation, isn't it? That's and right. Catilis has been going pretty hard at them all week. <laughs> yeah, well, I've heard that, uh, in the, obviously what I've read in the paper, one has been giving them a bit of uh, hard training during the week. We just have to see how they turn up on Sunday. The team uh, been training quite well during uh, since Monday night. Uh, any Any other problems? No, we, um, as you can see, we're all out here running, having a light session tonight, and we'll be all fighting fit on Sunday. One of the one of the areas of problem that people have said is that North Star in the last couple of years haven't really come to the fore uh, in final uh, finals. You lost the Ampol Cup, you lost the Grand Final last year. You've you've gone out in the Ampol Cup this year. Is there is there anything in regards to the confidence in the side when you get to this situation? Well. There's a few new players this season from the, the team last year that lost in the in the two two finals. Um, I, I think at the beginning of the season he set out to win a trophy, and that's what we'll be you know we'll be out there fighting because we've lost the uh, the league, and not as you say in the Umpire Cup, and we we've got one aim now and that's to win the grand final. And you're very confident of doing so. Well, we're confident. We're not overconfident. Um, we've got 90 minutes on Sunday, and uh, hopefully another 90 minutes um, on. I was just thinking there is a few uh, things being said in the press during this week about uh, today's game and the North Star are supposedly on a special diet and <laughs> Brisbane City have to do without sex. I, God knows what it's going to be like when they let them up, let them loose and see each other after, after coming out onto the field. Should be a good game, big crowd out there. Tremendous game at 12.30 between Croatia and Alice City and there uh, was a good game last week with Croatia just going down to Wynnum and that uh, is worth seeing of course and uh, the main game of course at 2.30 between Azuri, Brisbane City and North Star. Brisbane City, of course, uh, will be without their big Irish centre-back, but they'll still be a strong team, and I reckon it will be a real tough game. Of course, this is the team. The winner of today goes through next week uh, to play Brisbane Lions in this year's Grand Final.